Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and in this video I'm gonna help you out a little bit because I believe some of you might be very soon traveling for your upcoming winter training or equivalent, same applies for the summer training as well. By the way, in case you haven't checked out, we have also launched our winter boot camps. So in case you are interested, check out the link in the description section. But regardless, wherever you are gonna be traveling for your upcoming boot camps or travelings or trainings, I'm gonna help you with these five tips that are gonna be absolutely helpful and will make your life a little bit easier for the upcoming travel for your trainings. Now before we go ahead and talk about all these plans and the tips that you should keep in mind, I highly recommend and appreciate those people who are willing forward to travel for the upcoming trainings or internships or whatever the boot camps you are gonna be attending. Traveling to somewhat a little bit alien location which you haven't being familiarized yet is very important, very crucial, and you have to do it one point or the other point of time. The earlier you do it, it's better. Some people keep it absolutely far for the things when they get the job or something like that, but I think it's a great idea that you do such kind of travel while in your college. So without a further ado, let's get started with the tips that are gonna help you for the upcoming travels with regard of your boot camps, trainings, internship, whatever you are doing. Tip number zero. Hey, what did you expect it here? Are we gonna start with not tip zero? Of course, what else did you expect it on this channel? So tip number zero is don't be afraid. Leave out all those fears. I know it can be a little bit hard going away from the home to a remote location where you haven't traveled yet. It can be, might be you're traveling from northern part of the country to the southern part of the country or maybe rivers. But again, uh, first and foremost thing is leave out that fear world can be a little bit scary place but it's not that much scary people are really very helpful in most of the cases and you should not fear out that much problems surely will come up but problems are made to be solved up so leave those fears out the tip number one and the biggest tip that i can give to you is mindset please for god's sake change your mindset. This happened to most of the time the people who are living in their home environment mostly and haven't seen much of the hostel life in the school or in the colleges. What you are familiarizing yourself most of the time or what you are comfortable with most of the time is not going to be the thing that you're going to see at a remote location. Right now you are living at your home, somebody is doing your laundry for you, somebody is just cooking food on your time. That's not how things work when you totally live on your own. So make sure that you change your mindset with all those comfortness. The traveling that you're gonna make up is not gonna be very comfortable. The food might suck most of the time. But again, make sure this is the start of the journey where you are gonna be living on your own and that is very, very essential. What I have seen personally is people who are more familiarized with the hostel environment, they are just a little bit easier, but again, once you understand that things are not gonna be same as you are mostly familiar with your home environment, this is never, never going to be the case. So prepare your mindset accordingly. Nobody's gonna do your laundry, nobody's gonna be doing your transport, nobody's gonna be doing food for you, and of course there are a couple of here and there problems also. So make sure you prepare your mindset and make sure that you keep a focus that yes, challenges are about to come and we are all here to face them. Now tip number two is a little bit irrelevant but it saves a lot of time when you are in need. Always take the phone number and the address of the place where you are going, the office, the internship, the hostel, wherever you are going on a piece of paper. I know you are all gadget friendly, you want the Google Maps to run all the time, you have the numbers saved in your phone, that's all great but I have learned it through the hard way always keep a hard copy because phone may die up or things may happen but that piece of paper is always going to be there so no matter how techy you are always keep a copy of the phone numbers and probably important addresses always with you now in case you are traveling a little bit out of the country which i haven't much focused in this i personally always keep the phone numbers and address of the indian consulate always handy with me but i'm going to talk about these foreign travels maybe some other day right now let's focus on the travel regarding in the country itself so always keep a hard copy of all the phone numbers important addresses as well as make sure that you also have a couple of copies of your photo id as well 
And in case you are traveling abroad, make sure you remember your passport number as well. That is very crucial. I do it all the time. And having a couple of IDs as a photocopy is always a great idea when you're traveling to some other state or something like that. Now moving to the tip number three, since you are moving to a remote location, obviously you will be staying to some PGs or maybe some hostel or something like that. Now what I personally recommend is to use the apps like Zostels and Hostel World and there are many other hostel apps as well or probably take a hotel for a couple of days only because you'll be spending a month probably two months or three months in that location and just relying on one hostel or PG or something with just a phone call is never a good idea so always make sure that you have an extra budget of having a hotel or hostel they're very cheap like 300 400 rupees a night absolutely cheap and just book those hotels or hostels first look around find your own PG that you are completely satisfied because companies or training centers are never responsible for these PGs or anything like that this is going to be your own personal thing so make sure you fight it like a grown-up and you take your hotels books and something and just roam around in the area find out the best hostels or PG that you can find out and then only pay the money once you are satisfied that yeah this is going to be the place where i'm going to be staying for the next 30 days or two months or five months whatever is the case tip number four is always figure out the transport now most of the transport in the country are pretty phenomenal they are pretty amazing but again make sure that you try to figure out your transport as quickly as possible because you might be coming from a place where language might be a little bit of the barrier Thank goodness the Google map are really great to show you all the bus routes, routes, whatever that is. And of course the trains, metros, whatever that is. So make sure you always figure out your routes about transportation or even ask for somebody's help. Figuring out the transport from your location to the center or office, wherever you are going to be going. And the cheapest way is always a great idea. Hey, this is a remote location. You're not going to be having your vehicles or your transport system. So it's going to be a little bit different. And make sure you also add up that cost too. My fifth tip is moreover going to be a personal experience mixed with a lot of stories that I have heard and have experienced as well. Make sure no matter how techy you are, you always do all of your transactions with debit cards and credit cards and those wallets, but always keep a little bit of the cash with you. I'm not saying that always keep a huge chunk of cash with you. Usually ATMs are pretty good, but keeping a little bit of the cash with you always is handy. If you're traveling abroad, I give a tip that always keep some dollars with you, regardless what the countries are, dollars are pretty accepted currency. So make sure you have some dollars if you are traveling abroad, if you are traveling in the home country, make sure, make sure that you keep some of the cash around with you. I know you want the world to be absolutely free, just like YouTube videos, but world doesn't work like that. When the people are around you and they don't understand your languages and stuff like that, they always understand the language of money. And make sure you always keep an eye on that. I know you are looking up for everything should be free, the education and the transport, but the world doesn't work like that. So keeping a little bit of the cash with you solves problems a little bit faster and people understand the language of money a bit easier. So regardless how much you are tech geek, always keep some amount of cash with you and always be extra cautious because you are in a new country, new place, new city, new town and you are vulnerable there. So make sure you always keep an eye on your luggage, on your laptops, on your phone because although these incidents are very rare but they do happen. So always take an extra cautious about all the things and all your gears all the time up because people are there to take your advantage because you are new here. So always keep all of your guards up and always keep a little bit of the cash handy with you and things are going to be all fine. Don't worry too much. Traveling is a part of human nature and it is going to help you to understand and learn a lot more. Do traveling as frequent and as quickly as you can. So these are my five tips that are going to help you if you are traveling to your next winter boot camps or summer boot camps or trainings or internship. In case you know who somebody is going to be traveling very soon and very quickly in your college or campus, make sure you forward this video to them as well so that they can make their life a little bit easier. It's going to be absolutely a new thing for them. So this video can help them a little bit.
That's it for this video. Make sure you check the description section for our boot camps for this special winter. And I wish you best of luck for your upcoming winter trainings. Wherever you are doing, make sure you learn a ton of things and share with them, share with me on the Instagram. I would love to see what you are cooking up, what you are making up, wherever you are learning. I would love to know that. That's it for this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because you have learned five new things today, but what you're going to do next week or maybe next day. So there is a lot to learn and I can give you a lot here. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and we're going to catch up in the next video.